there's a national emergency and serious threats of violence to Canadians, and you have a tool that you should use, how would I explain it to the family of a police officer who was killed or a, a, a grandmother who got run over stopping, trying to stop a truck or, uh, or a, a protester who was killed? Uh, if I hadn't used the tools, if uh, one of the protesters, uh, one of the occupiers had been, uh, had been killed uh, in uh, a violent clash with someone else, um, getting this situation under control and protecting the safety of all Canadians is a priority. Except for the Emergencies Act doesn't talk about potential threat to promise right. in my own mind. It's an actual danger, an actual attack on the sovereignty of Canada, not in his own mind. And, and like I say, protesters were violated by the government. It is not sufficient under law or in common sense that you bring in martial law because you think your enemies are as evil as you project onto them. Yeah, there was a lot of, um, I would suggest, marijuana paranoia in Justin yeah. Trudeau's par in his testimony today because he used the word potential so many times that if you were playing a drinking game, um, you'd have been hammered by about 9, 9.45 this morning um, because it was, there's a potential for violence, there's a potential for this, there's a potential for that. There's no such thing as potential in the Emergencies Act text writing. That's not what the standard is here. It is, does it rise to the CSIS definition of national security threat? And CSIS testified it never did. Uh, there was a point at which Justin Trudeau was opining about weaponized vehicles. He said, you know, I really became concerned when the vehicles became weaponized. When did that ever happen? Well, the example he gave was when um, it, two cars got in a very minor fender bender down at the Coots border blockade. There were both protesters and there was a blockade and they sort of banged bumpers. And there was, you know, just people sort of yelling at each other because they had a car accident. But that was Justin Trudeau's um, definition of weaponized vehicles. Um, and Jason Kenney helped spread that lie. Yeah. So that lie out there is part of the ether around the convoy because Jason Kenney said that a car tried to ram the blockade. Well, yeah. no, it was a fender bender. Mm -hmm. And now now we see our prime minister using that against peaceful protesters here in Alberta. Uh, that's clip number five. Play clip number five when Trudeau lists these threats. Uh, he, he talks about using children as human shields. He's projecting his own bizarre cruelty onto others. Um, he's, he's talking about cars ramming police officers. In a second, we'll show you how the RCMP clearly say that did not happen. We'll play a clip of that. But here, take a look at Trudeau, the Prince of Lies. Threats of serious, serious violence, violence. Okay. was the key ones. And can you can you elaborate on, on what those threats were? What led to that conclusion? Yes. Um, and again, we went around the table with officials uh, from all different agencies and heads of departments uh, to talk about this. There was uh, the um, militarization of vehicles, for example. We'd seen, uh, sorry, the weaponization of, of vehicles. We'd seen, uh, you know, cars ramming into police officers in, or, or other cars at Coots. Uh, we saw an incident like that in, um, in uh, Surrey, I believe. Uh, we saw trucks uh, used as as uh, potential weapons, certainly in um, uh, in Ottawa, with their their presence and unknown uh, interiors. There was the use of uh, children as human shields uh, deliberately, uh, which was uh, a real concern both at the Ambassador Bridge and the fact that there were uh, kids on Wellington Street that people didn't know what was in the. Uh, in the trucks, whether it was kids, whether it was weapons, whether it was both, police had no way of knowing uh, those. There was presence of weapons uh, at Coots, as we saw. There was a concern around weapons being stolen uh, in Peterborough uh, that we didn't know, about 2,000 guns that we didn't know where they had gone at that point. Uh, we later found out that they didn't go there, but there was that was a real concern uh, that we had about what was happening to them. Um, there were a number of others as well. Children were never used as human shields. That's the bizarre. No. This is what I mean about the, the sociopathic, like for him to keep his worldview together, he needs those things to be true. 
here, just before I forget, here's our own reporters calling the RCMP and asking them to clarify if that slander that that some protester rammed an RCMP in Cooch, that was that with the weaponization of vehicles, that was a lie told by Jason Kenney. We knew that, and we got the RCMP, incredibly, to admit it on tape. Here, take a quick look at that. Hey there. It's uh, George Sutton Cup calling you back. Yep, thank you. Uh, so I can confirm that we disabled three, looks like three excavators. Yep. Um, to prevent the equipment from being used in the illegal activity of the blockade. Uh, was there an expectation there as to how they were going to be used? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I've, I've got the answer for you. I'm not sure what other questions you might have with, relative to that. I wasn't part of that, uh, that planning or the execution of that. So I yep. don't think I can comment any further than that. Oh, it's all good. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. No problem, Sid. Take care, buddy. Yep, bye-bye. Hi there, it's Corporal Savinkoff here. Uh, hey there, Corporal. Uh, this is uh, Sid calling you again really quickly. Um, if you have the time for a hey, second. Sid. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, so I just wanted to confirm um, exactly what the damage was done by the RCMP. The damage, the disabling. Yeah. Yeah. So we we, we can. Yep. Right. I don't know. I don't know what we did to disable those vehicles. Sid. Okay. But okay. Yeah. Sorry. I I forgot to get that bit there uh, last time. But you did confirm that it was you guys. But um, in terms of the specific damage, you're unaware. Yeah. The specific uh, steps that we took to disable those vehicles. I don't. I don't know. Okay. All right. No, appreciate that. Just wanted to reconfirm. Thank you. All right. Take care. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, uh, you know, I don't know if Justin Trudeau is selectively editing from his memory any countervailing facts. I think he hunts for a few things that can allow him to psychologically say, no, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth here. Um, even even though every single thing he listed there was either false, a, uh, an exaggeration, or as you said, just a potential a potential human shield, he has to do to say that and do that to keep his sociopathic love of tyranny alive. He justifies his tyranny with all these asterisks and stretches and exaggerations. You know, if there really was a national emergency. You wouldn't have to string it together with exaggerations. And we saw earlier in the Commission of Inquiry, cabinet ministers and other senior bureaucrats brainstorming how they can gin up a media narrative about this is Mm -hmm. a danger, this is rioters, this is January 6th all over again, these are neo-Nazis. If there were a Nazi uprising, if there were a revolution, if there were a mass danger in Canada, you would know it. You would see it. You wouldn't have to uh, spin journalists and exaggerate the way Trudeau does. He knows he's a liar, but he's doing this so he can look himself in the mirror. What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday, I do a monologue. Usually, it's about half an hour. Then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix. And in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for 8 bucks. I think it's worth it. And even if you're not quite sure, do it anyways, because... We rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent. I promise you I'll never take a dime from Trudeau. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe. Thanks.